bit later hmm. than you said, Neil, I must yeah, say. Sorry. But I'm joined in the studio by an array of people. So go on, starting by the most important person. That's not you, Neil. Introduce yourselves. Neil's quite important. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name's Paul. Now, Paul Bleasdale. Uh, I'm playing over in 1886 tonight. Uh, resident DJ Cream. We're looking forward to a great night. Cool. And then we'll go to the second most important then. Go on, Neil. Oh, I thought it was going to be Jason or you, Kerry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, or Boy Wonder in the corner there. Freddy, the, if little Freddy, God love him. Uh, yeah, hi, Neil Cowie here, back again, like the Renegade Master, um, in the house. So, yeah, we're here tonight. Uh, introduced Paul, got him over for the um, Saturday night here, 1886. First uh, international DJ to come back to the Isle of Man after COVID, so it's a really exciting night for us. And last but not least, we've got Jason. Yes. Hi, uh, first time I've ever been on radio, so please excuse me. That's, you'll be absolutely fine. <laughs> <laughs> I am told coming up onto my show, it's very, it's quite relaxing. I, I don't take things too seriously. You'll be absolutely Good. fine. Um, right, Paul. So um, thank you so much for coming up on the show this evening. Obviously, it's got a bit um, busy for you to get, obviously, onto set as well. Did you arrive on Ireland today? Yeah, um, I got in about half one. Uh, I thought I was going to be flying on one of those <laughs> propeller jet things. <laughs> but I found out it was a big jet and I was so happy. Well, it could be worse. It could be like trying to come over, you know, down the Mersey and across the Irish Sea so on a lilo or something. Come on a canoe or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so is this your first time to the Isle of Man? Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, obviously, it's, it's not far from Liverpool, really, when you think about it. But it's just one of those places that's kind of passed me by. So that's why I'm really looking forward to it tonight. And when do you go home? Uh, tomorrow night. Okay, so, so you do a, have a full day I've to full day you know, take in yeah. what we have to offer here on the Isle yeah, of Man. Yeah, we're bed mostly, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, sleep, sleep is for the week. Do you think? Yes. Oh, I love sleep. <laughs> no, no, but I will get up and have a little bit of sightseeing and stuff. Cool. Some cool. of the views from up here are fantastic. And, and even better on a good day. You have yeah. picked probably a bad weekend to yeah. come to the Isle of Man. Windy. <laughs> Everyone keeps having a go on me about my coat. I know, it's, <laughs> the first thing, it's the first thing I said to you as well when you I sat know. down. Take your coat <laughs> off, it gets really hot in this room. <laughs> Is it a lot warmer in Liverpool or something? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I just got used to wearing my big coat. I love it. <laughs> no, but it's quite cold here, to be fair. Well, I can t I can um, tell you that the air conditioning in Studio One does not work, and no, with five okay. of us sitting in um, a room, you will get very hot if you sit there in a great big puffer jacket. <laughs> so go on, give us a bit more information about the gig <coughs> you've got this evening. Uh, well, yeah, initially it was Jason. Um, he wanted to put a night on the Isle of Man. Obviously, he come out to Cream a lot and see me play, and he knows the history and everything. Uh, and obviously through COVID, it was just it just becoming a bit of a nightmare to rearrange. And then Neil, obviously with his experience at uh, 1886, got involved with Jason. We decided to to go on all mm -hmm. together, didn't we? Put a night on together, yeah. Why not? Because uh, we're all we're all on the same journey trying to get a nights on. So yeah, it worked out really well. So we ended up co-hosting the night. And especially well. since it's like 18 months, we've just literally had nothing really, every club wise. So shocking. Um, the first out and the last in. Yeah. Yeah. It's been so, terrible. what have you been doing over in the UK in those eighteen months when you haven't been able to obviously go out and play? Well, I was lucky because I was working. I was working in care and doing other things. But a lot of DJs were struggling really badly. I think the whole of the industry has, has struggled terribly. Uh, I think we, at one point I felt the industry was getting a little bit targeted with it. Mm. Uh, it seemed that way. But now, since the restrict uh, lifted restrictions, I've been doing rave festivals, raves big club events so it does feel like it's starting to get back now and does does it feel when you're over there um is there still sort of like a little bit of i suppose anxiety or have you got the same volume of people i at think your there events? is yeah i think my age it's not like 25 no, <laughs> uh, no i do feel like there's still a lot of people who are wary about going out which is natural i think not because it's been 18 months of, of cd illness, hasn't it yeah um but i think they'll come around eventually yeah, we're getting to so the I don't other think side you can stay in for the rest of your life, can you? No, no, you can't. Otherwise, we, what is the point if we've no, had to sit yeah. in locked up for the rest so of our lives? Get out tonight, come on. <laughs> yeah. So if, anyone, so if anyone does want to um, pop along tonight, Neil, yep. how do they go about it? Because there is an entry fee, isn't there? There is, yeah. £10 on the door. Um, there's tickets available. If you want an advanced ticket, you can still buy them on Skittle, which will get you priority access to the venue. Um, other than that, um, you'll join the queue and you can pay in by card or by cash. Um, upstairs and uh, we have the whole of the cocktail lounge in that area all private event for this so if you're in there tonight and you feel like coming up you can do 
Um, and it'll be uh, going off till half past three in the morning. And it's ten pound, isn't it? Ten pound. Ten pound admission, yeah. And obviously, you three. Um, but we've got one other as well who's not here. This Ricky. Is, yeah, yeah, Ricky Rooney. Yeah. Um, also um, going to be playing this evening. So what's the plan? Have you got sort of like a structure? Who's going first? Who's going last? I think uh, obviously we quit. I keep saying Ricky. Yeah. Ricky. Ricky first, and then we'll see. I'll just get a little bit busier. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then I'll um, Jason will go on myself. Hopefully. Yeah. It's really rammed. Yeah. I think it will be. Yeah. Um, we've got till half three in the morning, so yeah. So we're going to mix it up all night. So you're going to get a little bit of everybody all night, and then um, yeah, Paul's going to take the the headline slot and uh, then jump on and off. So he's going to give you a little bit of a flavour, and then and then a big set later on. So yeah, it's really it's really really good. We've got people actually coming back from the UK. You couldn't believe that he's playing here. I've had messages all week. People saying I cannot believe Paul Bleasdale was playing in the Isle of Man. So there's people. On the on the sea cat and all sorts at the moment have been messaging me saying please save us some tickets we will be there so it's really good really good I think this is it. the Isle of Man just needed something just to lift the spirits didn't they just to get us back to where we were yeah definitely it did I think um, we were we were in a bubble for quite a long time considerable amount of time and that was great and I think everybody got really used to that mm. rather than the fact that we um, we actually did have to get out of this and now we are coming out of it the entertainment's got to start and I think Jason's mindset was exactly the same as mine and Paul's the first time we can do this and get a night on where we can get him to the Isle of Man safely and get a club night happening we were going for it and this is what's happened and that's why we're doing it 